In this video, we're going to look at pivot table slicers, how to insert them, and what effect they have when you're drilling into the pivot table to see the details. So here we have two pivot tables. They're identical, except that pivot table two has priority in its report filter area. Both of them have severity as a row field, and we're seeing a count of tickets for each severity. And the data, they're both based on this list of data. Back to the pivots, with this pivot table two, we can use the priority filter. Right now it's only showing priority 30, so we can see a grand total of 12. If we clear that to show all the priorities, the results are the same in both pivot tables. And if we want to see detail, if we want to see the list of tickets for one of these severities, I can double click on the number seven here and we see the seven tickets. They're all severity four and different priorities. So going back, if I double click over here on that same number seven, I would see the same list of results. I got seven tickets at severity four. So back on the pivot sheet, if I add slicers, I can filter both of the pivot tables at the same time. So this is a great tip if you're using multiple pivot tables within a workbook to add a slicer. I'll go to the ribbon and click insert and click slicer. Now I've got a cell selected in pivot table two and it's showing the fields that are in that pivot table. I would like a filter using this slicer for the priority field and I'll also add one for severity and click OK. So we get two slicers on the worksheet. I'm just going to drag them to the right so I can still see the pivot table and make it a bit smaller. And same with priority drag it and resize it so I can see all the items and click on any one of those to filter. If I filter now using these slicers, so if I go with severity three, it only affects the pivot table that was selected when I inserted this slicer. I'm going to clear that filter so they're back to looking the same. To connect these slicers to both pivot tables, I can right click on one, click pivot table connections, and make sure both of the pivot tables are selected. Click OK, and I'll do the same for this one, pivot table connections, and check both of the boxes, and then click OK. So now if I go with severity three, it affects both of the pivot tables. For the priority, if I click on 20, so there are only two tickets that have priority 20 and severity three. Now if I double click on this cell to see the details, there's my list with the two tickets, severity three, priority 20. And going back, if I double click on pivot table one, see the detail, I see a different result. So instead of just the priority 20, I'm seeing everything with severity three and everything in the priority. So back here, the report filter has priority. So that takes effect when I double click to show detail. Here there's no report filter. So the priority when I double click is not going to be filtered even though it looks like it should be. So just keep that in mind. If you're working with pivot tables and drilling into detail, the slicers will not affect the results unless those fields are either in the row area or in the re port filter area. Priority is not in either of those places, so it is not being filtered out when I double click to see the details. 